Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing my movie review this week on a new film called Paranorman, which is from the same studio, Focus Features, and animated studio, Laka Entertainment, which did Coraline, which happens to be one of my favorite stop-motion animated films of 2009. I never got tired of that film because I remember I collected the poster, the film, along with the book, and the figurines of Coraline. Both two of them, by the way. In this film, it stars Cody Smith McPhee from the movie uh, The Road and uh, Let Me In. Is the voice of Norman Bangkok, a small boy who lives in a town called Bliff Hollow. And he's the only person that can talk to dead people. And unfortunately, no one around the town including his parents and the kids at school would believe in, in his gift. So one day um, he met a eccentric uncle and he tells him about the important annual ritual that's happening in this anniversary that's going on in that town that there happens to be a witch curse which, it, which he led to believe that this curse was actually real which happened centuries ago. So prior to his quest, uh, Norman decided to cooperate with him, but things didn't go out as quite as his, his plan turned out. Because a magic storm started to shoot up, and the witch that came from the skies, as well as the rest of the zombies, actually arise from the dead, from the cemetery ground. Uh, so unfortunately the zombies came along and started to to escape from all the madness that's happening because there was a huge mob uh, later on once they found out it was up to Norman to stop them from this horrid truth that's happening that needs to be told so that way he can break the witch's curse from happening so he had to stop the crisis that's going on and I gotta say I really enjoy this film a lot I think this was one of the best animated films so far this year. It's not exactly right up there with Coraline, but it's pretty close because I think it's still one of my favorite films of all time. But I really enjoyed it a lot. It's definitely worth watching many times if you get a chance. Most of the references kind of reminds me a little bit like The Monster Squad and that other movie, uh, The Frighteners, which also kind of got the idea of talking to ghosts all around. It, it has a similarity to it. And it has a very interesting cast. It also has Anna Kendrick from the movie Camp. Uh, Christopher Means uh, Plaz from um, Superbad who played Nick Lovin. And it also has John Goodman that plays the eccentric uncle. But the, the boyfriend is played by Casey Affleck, um, the brother of Ben Affleck. So yeah, I, I say it's definitely worth checking out. I think it's definitely worth recommending. And I think it would be in my top list of um, this year of the best animated film. I know there will be more pretty soon. Frankie Weenie is coming up later on. And I can't wait to check on that one. Because I love the Tim Burton story too. I mean, I love the short film. I remember getting that from the Nightmare Before Christmas DVD. And I definitely remember seeing this on the Disney Channel. Like back in the 90s, I believe. Yeah, 90s. So, anyway, I, I suggest you uh, rush in the feeders if they're still playing this movie to go see this film. Uh, 3D or 2D, it doesn't matter. So I gave Paranorman four stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.